know, I've been making a lot of Italian pasta dishes these last two weeks. But did you know, Italian food is more than just boiled semolina flour. May I introduce you to this? The porchetta sandwich. A yummy little sandwich made from crispy pork belly. I'm letting you know right now, this is Italy's best kept secret since Benito Mussolini's My Little Pony collection. Side note, what is it with fascist ideologues and cute cuddly cartoon stuff? First things first, we gotta make a marinade for the pork. Let's toss in an ounce of fresh basil leaves, a teaspoon of fresh thyme, a teaspoon of oregano. Ideally, you want to use fresh oregano, but I forgot to buy some. But still, you can get by with dried. A quarter teaspoon of red chili flakes. Two cloves of garlic. A teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Give it a little whirly in the food processor until you form a nice paste. Now for the main attraction. Pork belly. You're gonna need about three pounds of skin on pork belly. Oh, uh, before we do anything, inspect the pork skin and make sure it has no stray hairs. If it does, burn these bad boys off. Come on, you get to use open flame. How can you not enjoy this recipe? All right, let's drizzle on the marinade. First thing you gotta do, place all of our pork belly skin side down and slather on our marinade. Okay, with our pork mostly covered in marinade, it's time to put them in a pan. All right, grab a paper towel and wipe off any excess oil that made its way to the bottom. All right, now stick a fork in it. Uh, no, really, we're gonna use the fork to poke holes into our pork. This will help crisp up our skin. Okay, now if you have any gaps in your dish, just uh, stuff it with uh, aluminum foil. I'll explain the aluminum foil later. Now I have here in the ceramic can a mixture of salt, baking soda, and vinegar. And we are gonna brush it on the skin of our pork. Don't worry, you won't taste it in the final product. Basically, our little mixture of baking soda, vinegar, and salt will aid in the Maillard reaction. And you know what else will help make our pork belly nice and crispy? Sticking it in the fridge overnight. I'll give you a moment to wipe away your tears. In order to make our skin nice and crispy, the skin needs to be dry, and a 24-hour stint in the refrigerator uncovered will do that. So stick this in our refrigerator, uncovered, for 24 hours. First things first, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Do your country's pop stars have a bad habit of unaliving themselves? The number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. All right, 24 hours later, and our pork is nice and dry to the touch. Well, some of you are still confused about the things of aluminum foil. Hopefully this should clear everything up. We're gonna take kosher salt and we're gonna cover everything in it. We're basically gonna make a salt crust. So don't be shy, pour all over the pork. Now, we just want the salt on the skin of the pork. That will help dry out moisture. Hence the little balls of aluminum foil. And if some gets on the side, we'll clean it up later. Place our pork in the middle of our 350 degree oven. And let it cook for 90 minutes. Okay, once the pork cools down a bit and the oven stops making so much noise and it can stop polluting my audio, we can go on to the next step. So let's remove the salt crust. Using a pair of tongs, let's transfer the pork belly to a separate plate. Now inspect each piece of pork belly and try to get as much salt off of it as you can. Then transfer it to a cooling lined baking sheet 
covered with aluminum foil. It's just gonna make cleanup easier. And if your pork belly won't stand up on its own, just uh, lean it against another piece, that's fine. Next, turn on your oven's broiler and set it to 500 degrees. That would be 260 degrees Celsius. Stick our pork in the middle of our 550 degree broiler and let it crisp up for 10 to 15 minutes. All right, with the pork cool down and the oven finally shutting up, we can finally begin work on our sandwich. After 10 minutes, this is what our pork belly should be looking like. And this is what it should be sounding like. It's a bit on the charged side, but uh, let's try a little bit of the skin. Oh yeah. Chop the meat up into little bite-sized pieces. Then go for the skin. Get yourself a nice Italian loaf like this. Put on our meat, some of our crispy skin, some Italian salsa verde. Huh. Let me show you how to make this really quickly. Make, all right, now to make the salsa, grab one bunch of parsley, de-stemmed. Two cloves of garlic. One tablespoon of capers. Make sure the drain of the brine. Eh, that'll be easy. The juice of one lemon. Quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Half a teaspoon of salt, bearing in mind that there's lots of salt in the capers. And half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And finally, let's add half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Give everything a nice whirl. You might have to scrape down the sides of the mixer, that's fine. All right, we give it a taste test. You know, it's good. Anyway, pile it on top of our sandwich. Sun-dried tomatoes. And top off our sandwich with some arugula. And voila. After hours, and I do mean hours of work, our porchetta sandwich is ready to eat. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. What, were you expecting some sort of joke? It's so late at night, let me end. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and support me on Patreon. Yeah, it was kind of messed up of me to make fun of K-pop suicides, but if it means pissing off K-pop stands and promoting my channel in the process, so be it.